Once in a while, we allow our product designers to run wild with ideas for new products. And sometimes they come up with ideas that might be brilliant. So this is one of those products. The original idea of this product was very simple. To make a double 25 gigabit PCIe Ethernet adapter with the best bang for the buck. So let's take a look. If you were to plug this adapter into the PCIe 3.0 x8 slot of your Linux FreeBSD or RouterOS x64 system, all network interfaces would show up like regular interface cards. But it's never that boring with the MicroTik, is it? Here's the scoop. We used a regular ARM CPU instead of a dedicated networking ASIC chip that would be heavily overpriced now. That caused a whole chain reaction of possibilities. To run any standard CPUs, you need RAM and some storage memory for the software. Combined with the networking interfaces, we have all the ingredients for a fully-fledged router, not just a network card. Let's break it down. This device uses the same quad-core 64-bit ARM V8 CPU as the previously announced CCR2004 that has a gigabit Ethernet port, two SFP2825 gigabit cages, and comes in this neat low-profile PCIe form factor. It features 4 GB of RAM and 128 megabytes of NAND storage. All the power is taken from the motherboard. It requires PCIe 3.0 x8 to function. To get this CCR device to work as a network interface card, a new pass-through mode was implemented. Basically, a fast-forward, fast-path mode that can also pass hardware link statuses. This card can reach wire speed 100 gigabits with jumbo frames. It ensures that in most setups, the host system itself will be the only bottleneck, not the network card. By default, the PCIe interface will show up as four virtual interfaces. Two interfaces in pass-through mode to the 25G SFP28 cages. One interface in pass-through mode to the gigabit Ethernet, and one interface for the management purposes. All interfaces and settings can be configured freely by the user, since we're running a fully functional RouterOS software. This form factor does come with certain limitations that you should keep in mind. The CCR network card needs some time to boot up compared to ASICs-based setups. And if the host system is up before the CCR card, it will not show up in the available devices. You should add a PCIe device and installation delay after power-up in the BIOS, if you can. Or you will need to reinitialize the PCIe devices from the host system. We have submitted driver changes to the upstream kernels of Linux and FreeBSD. Full support from the host side should be available in the mainstream by now. So there you have it. A simple, high-speed networking card and a fully-fledged router in the most unusual form factor, two-in-one. Do you have any interesting use cases right off the bat? Do you like to see more devices like this? Let us know in the comments.